AVES is a relatively new ETF from Avantis for targeted factor exposure in emerging markets. I review it here and compare it to its counterparts that are usually included in the same conversation, AVEM and DGS. If you've arrived on this video, you probably already know that overweighting or tilting with certain risk factors may offer greater returns as well as a convenient diversification benefit and that Avantis provides some of the best factor funds around. Here we're discussing AVES, their relatively new ETF for value stocks in emerging markets, which launched in late 2021. When Avantis first launched their ETF lineup, they had AVUV and AVDV for US and XUS developed market small cap value respectively, but there was no such product for emerging market small value. Fast forward two years and AVES has arrived to fill that void at least somewhat. It's important to note a couple things right off the bat, which are probably the curiosities that led you to this video. First, AVES inarguably delivers more targeted exposure than AVEM. That's its entire purpose. Avantis launched AVEM in late 2019, two years before AVES. AVEM is part of their broad core family for market-like exposure with light factor tilts in emerging markets. As such, it's sort of a stretch to call it a true value fund, and AVEM is definitely not a small cap value fund. Secondly, in a similar vein, note that AVES is still called the Avantis Emerging Markets Value ETF, which covers large, mid, and small cap. In other words, AVES is also not a true small cap value fund. It's effectively mid cap value. That said, it still seems to be a great choice to get close to that corner of the market that doesn't have a lot of reliable investable products. Specifically, according to Avantis senior portfolio manager Daniel Ong, unlike AVEM, which overweights companies that have high book to market ratios and high cash based profitability, AVES will specifically target them. These are the higher expected return companies. AVES will hold large all the way down to small cap companies, but it will shun mega caps in favor of smaller companies because that's where higher expected returns are. If you've watched any of my other videos on emerging markets value funds, I still like DGS from Wisdom Tree as a dedicated emerging market small cap value ETF. But that doesn't mean AVES is not still a fine choice for similar exposure. We've got a pretty limited time period, but here are the comparative factor loadings, market caps, PE ratios, and expense ratios for these funds to illustrate the points I just noted in terms of AVEM versus AVES versus DGS. So as we can see, we inarguably get better factor exposure going left to right from AVEM to AVES to DGS, but we also obviously pay more in fees as we progress on that path as well. The important takeaways here, I think, are the value loadings and the relatively huge differences in average market cap. Notice how AVES is holding much smaller stocks than AVEM, and DGS is holding much smaller stocks than AVES. So it just comes down to what kind of exposure you want, ranging from broad market with light tilts to pretty concentrated. As such, put another way, DGS is arguably unsuitable as a core holding, whereas AVEM would be. AVES is somewhere in the middle. Index investors like staunch bogleheads wanting to dip their toes into factors may shy away from the higher fees and more concentrated targeting of both AVES and DGS, so AVEM may be the best choice for that audience. The dedicated factor investor, on the other hand, may prefer the greater factor loadings of DGS compared to both AVEM and AVEM. AVES. Aside from all that, fans of Avantis's methodologies may simply prefer to stick with the provider for their entire portfolio instead of mixing different fund houses. I mentioned some other small cap value funds from around the globe in another video here. AVES should be available at any major broker. What do you think of the fund? Do you own it, AVEM, or DGS? Let me know in the comments. I am long DGS in my own portfolio. Thanks for watching.